Now also laid out in the new state budget, a plan to ban gas stoves and furnaces in new buildings in the next three years. A lot of mixed reaction on this. Robert Moses in Kew Gardens, Queens. What's going on there, Robert? Rosanna, is this sound environmental policy or big government run amok? Depends, of course, on whom you ask. Here is the deal on this one. Natural gas stoves and furnaces are banned in most new construction in New York State beginning in 2026. There are exceptions, however, for commercial buildings and other places like hospitals. But that has not quieted the Republican opposition. Senate Republican leader Rob Ort, for example, calls the policy unconstitutional and worries that it will increase utility bills and housing costs. Republican Party Chair Ed Cox calls the ban a complete capitulation to the radical left. His words there. Governor Kathy Hochul, of course, sees it differently. She said earlier this morning on Good Day New York that New York has to do its part to halt climate change. Everybody's got a gas stove. Enjoy it. Keep your gas stove. But we, just like we had to go from a you know, long time ago, to transition from coal as your energy source. We do yeah. have to transition. There are clean energy alternatives. It's going to take time. And I want to make sure that New Yorkers don't get hit hard for the cost. So we're going to roll this out. But new buildings that are going up, they can find, they can go electric, they can do heat pumps. Well, this is how you transition. And this is the first in the nation ban of its kind. So we'll have to see if other states opt to follow suit. The goal here is for New York State to cut emissions by 85 percent by the year 2050. So state leaders, at least those who supported this budget deal, hope that this ban helps to achieve that goal. Rosanna, back to you. All right. Everybody's got an opinion on this, Robert. Thank you.